Is it the viewfinder or am I just really whitewashed? It doesn't matter, we're just gonna start anyway. So, last week on Twitter, I asked you guys, hey, what product have you always wanted me to test that I haven't tested yet? And then a lot of you sent me products that I've already tested, so. Thanks for that. Uh, but then some of you did send me some pretty good items, so we are gonna test them today. Four out of the five have to do with the kitchen, so we're just gonna start out in the kitchen and deal with the last one afterwards. So, you ready for this? I'm really excited because one is an Asina TV product. We're not doing that right now. What we're gonna do first is a Bonson kitchen. Someone said it helps with making whipped coffee. Now we're starting with this because she's tired. Because she needs an energy boost and she loves coffee. She loves coffee so much she acts like it's a personality trait. It came with batteries. What? I've never had a product that comes with batteries. I mean, maybe one. One out of a thousand comes with batteries. Okay, so I know whipped coffee is over, but the reason it's over is because it's so time consuming. I even got a little chicker, 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 chicker. Instead of whisking like this, when you go up and down, it whisks for you. That did not save me any time. So someone said that this makes it really easy and quick. It's a tiny little electric whisker. Cause I have a whisker, like an electric whisker, and it doesn't do anything. So we are going to try this and see if this gets her done. Okay, so to do this, I'm gonna use a wine glass because I don't know where any of my glasses are. All my mason jars just vanished somehow. Oh yeah, that's it. Mm, tablespoon of sugar, tablespoon of coffee, instant. Then you gotta get your water hot because you need a tablespoon of hot water. All in one cup of roux. Usually it takes me about 10 minutes, give or take five. Here we go. Oh, it splashed me in my face. Okay, it's been over a minute and it's still not thick. I mean, it makes it easier because I'm not having to do any work manually, but it's still taking 17,000 years. My thumb's hurting from having to hold down the button. Get a little thicker, but honestly, it's too much work for a drink that takes me four seconds to inhale. Like, she's still liquidy. It's been seven minutes. This is where we are, so she's not peaking, but she's thicker than she was. And my hand hurts from squeezing the button. So this is usually about the time I give up and just drink it like that. And I'm like, I don't need it nice and fluffy. I know that's not the drink, but coffee is still involved. So I'm gonna say this was kind of a bust because it's taking me just as long. And my hand still hurts because I'm having to squeeze this button. Button. Can you even see? I mean, it's not worth it. I'm just gonna make my drink as it is. I have no desire to sit here for another five minutes to do this. Ta-da! So while the first product was a fail, because it didn't really make it easier or less time consuming, I did get a coffee. It tastes good, but let's hope our next products are not fails, because I'm rooting for this one. Onion goggles. You know how people cry when they're chopping onions, and I am no exception? Well, apparently you pop these puppies on, and you can chop in peace. So they just have like a cushion on the inside. This is just cushiony. They're goggles. They're just goggles, but they're comfortable and anti-fog lenses. All right. Oh, she's a big onion. Do I look cool is the question. The answer is yes, I look glorious. All right, so basically we're just gonna waste an onion and chop it up and see if I cry. Yes, this is the test we're doing today, ladies and gentlemen. We're just playing, will she cry? I don't know. I can smell it, obviously, because my nose is not plugged, and my eyes are kind of burning. So there's that. I know this is not how you chop an onion, but we're just seeing if, you know, the juices get to me. Bleh. Ugh, it smells disgusting. My eyes feel like they want to be burning. Or maybe that's just the sense that happens when I smell this. Like my eyes go, oh, I should be burning now because of the scent that we're smelling. But my eyes are not watering. I'm gonna get closer. Mm, my eyes want to. You can tell, it's like the feeling like you have to sneeze. It's a feeling in my eyes that they want to water and burn. But they're not. Maybe this isn't a cry young yet. So we're gonna take the goggles off, put the glasses on, and continue chopping to see what happens. I got a yellow onion because they said that those are the ones that make you cry the most. So, oh, no, it's getting to me. No, oh, oh, dang it. Okay, okay, no, all right. Give it a second, give it a second, walk away. Okay, who they started to burn. Now let's put the goggles back on. Here we go. Goggles work. Oh my gosh, the goggles work. I gotta wash my hands before I stick them in my eyes. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect them to work. I thought that they were really stupid. They're just stupid looking, but they actually work. 
actually tastes good. We're gonna toss this, throw it away. Get this out of here because there's another onion product we are about to test. I'm kind of blown away by these goggles. Now, in case you don't wanna sit and chop onions, yes, we're keeping the goggles on. You could just use a Nutra chopper. My sister and mom have choppers. They really like them. This is a different kind. My issue with them is that they're really hard to clean. Oh, this is a tiny one. Oh, I was not expecting it to be this tiny. My sister and mom use ones that are like as big as the box. So that's kind of what I was expecting. So you put an onion in there or a potato or whatever and there's different blades. You can do a star blade for like an apple and there's these two ones so you can make it either just go lines or if you do this, make it crissy crossy and it's cubes. So, and then the cute thing I guess afterwards is if you figure out how to detach this, you just, you just pull it. So, like you can just chop things like this with two hands, or you can do it into this and it becomes a storage container that they provide a lid for. So, we have this onion we didn't use, so you have to chop it so it'll fit like so. Let's try this. Okay, this is, okay, you gotta use your body strength with that. Pull it up, it worked! Okay, let's try this one. Look it, half an onion was just cut up. And then I'm like, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna save this. My onion pro, oh, my onion product. Oh. Whipped coffee, what are you doing? Why are you making me burp? My onion products are killing it, man. I'm loving this. Oh, my only thing with this one is, this one's really, really small. There's a bunch of versions of this that are different sizes. I would prefer a bigger one, but sometimes you're limited on size, storage size. So there you go. All right, the next kitchen one, the last kitchen one, but we still have one more product after this. Popcorn maker. <laughs> we can use it because I have a microwave now. There are so many kitchen gadgets I haven't tested because I didn't own a microwave. Now I have a microwave so we can test this stuff. Expand to full size before using. The Popco Popcorn Popper, that's a mouthful, has two measurement lines in the bottom. Pour kernels up to the upper line in order to get the bowl fully filled with popcorn or up to the lower line if you want to only fill half of the, oh, cause as me, as a human, just one human that's going to enjoy the popcorn, I don't want a full thing of popcorn, that's too much. So I only want a little thing. So there's two lines, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it at the bottom. There's one that says 50G, that's the lower line, and one that says 100G, that's the upper line. Not a huge difference, but it makes a difference. I got popcorn. I got good old Orville Redenbacher's white corn. Nothing in it but corn pebbles. Kernels? That's the word. So I'm gonna fill this. Filled it to the 50G. Now you're supposed to place the lid inside of the thing, like so. It creates a little suction cup. The lid is supposed to rise while cooking. Pushing the lid can create a vacuum, causing the pearls to not pop freely and could cause burning. Oh, don't create a vacuum. No vacuum, just place it. I placed it, no vacuum. Cook on high until popping slows approximately two to three seconds apart. Same with any popcorn. This could take anywhere from two to four minutes on average, depending on the wattage of your microwave. If you have a popcorn preset button, we recommend using it. What? I have never seen popcorn say use the popcorn button. All popcorn is always like, never touch that popcorn button, it is evil. Place this in my tiny little microwave. We'll just do it in four minutes and uh, see what happens. Okay, we're done. Oh, Ooh. oh, Nelly, it's burnt. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna melt some butter real quick. It is a little burnt, but that, I think there was some user error here. One, I was supposed to hit popcorn and I set it for four minutes, so I stopped and hit popcorn, but the popcorn only really goes for one minute and 30 seconds and it wasn't done popping at all. So it stopped and then I had to re-pop it. So this popcorn's kind of been through it a little bit. Let's see if I add a little butter. Probably should not have added it to this. I should have put it in a separate bowl because now this is gonna get gross, but whatever. A little salt. Let's eat some popcorn. <laughs> There's a bug! Alright, one pop 
popcorn is amazing. It got burnt. I think that was my fault. I'm gonna take the hit on that one. But this is great because you can buy those tubs of kernels, add as much butter or oil or salt as you want, or as little as you want. Because sometimes it's like, the, the bags they give you, you just feel greasy afterwards. And this, you can limit how much popcorn you have. Like, you can just put in a little bit, or you can put in way more, because you have a lot of people. And there's less waste, because you don't have in the plastic bag and stuff. So I actually like this, as long as the burning was my fault, and not this is fault. We're filming? All right, let's loop on to our last product. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I can eat some of this some more though. All right, the last product is copper compression. Now you're supposed to put this on your feet to help you with plantar fasciitis or arc pain. I have both. In my right foot, you're welcome, wiki feet. In my right foot, I have plantar fasciitis. In my left foot, the top of it feels broken in the morning. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. This came with absolutely no instructions, like none. It says it's only under warranty if I register it. So I'll look online, but what I think I'm gonna do is wear these the rest of the day. The feet only act up in the morning. In the morning, my feet feel broken. My right side feels broken on the bottom, my left side feels broken on the top. So I'm gonna wear these all day today, and in the morning I'll put them on and walk around, and we'll see how I feel in the morning. And I might uh, do a workout with them on in the morning as well to see if that does anything. All right, to that. So it's a few nights later. I tried these on at night, and they kind of hurt my feet more than my feet had already hurt, but I'm gonna wear them them during a leg workout, which requires a lot of balance on my feet. Blah, blah. And I'm gonna put my socks on and shoes on and I will report back on if my feet hurt more or less or the same as they normally do when I do a leg workout. The night I originally filmed, I wore them for that night and uh, the plantar fasciitis on my right foot started acting up more than it normally does. They usually only hurt in the morning and they start, were hurting as I was wearing them at night. But I'm gonna do a workout, see how it feels. I'm not even done with my workout yet, and my feet hurt so bad in places they have never hurt before. I'm calling this trash. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did. Can you not eat the bone on the couch? Eat it on the rug. The rug is for dogs. The couch is for dogs, but not your bones. <laughs> I hope I tested these things to your satisfaction. If there's any other thing you'd like me to test, now he's gonna throw a tantrum. So I won't let you have your bone on the couch. You're gonna throw a tantrum. Uh, if there's any other products you'd like me to test, you can always tweet them to me or comment below, talk, comment on my Instagram, talk, comment on my TikTok, tag me in things. Stop biting my merch. Merch link below. But subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. <laughs> subscribe to my vlog channel where I post at least three times a week and my podcast channel where I post every single Monday. Ah, popcorn, sternal, suck on my tooth. Uh, I need to go floss. Bye. Bye.